this cake owner, she's a piece of work. Not only did she mess up, but now she doubled down. So remember yesterday I was talking about how these congressmen and government shouldn't make streets and houses that are the same address almost. Like you got one little short street with five houses, yet one house is number 14 and another house is 114 for no reason. Well, today it happened again. But today it was Sterling Street, spelled the way you typically spell it. But then this person actually lived at S-T-I-R. They're just making up words. So I'm wasting my time going around what the GPS thought it was based on the input that the store owner put. So finally I call the customer. They don't answer. I call them twice, leave messages. I call the store twice because the first time I call her, she acts like, well, just do a better job finding the address. But then I call her back the second time to let her know the customer didn't answer and I need her to call the customer to try to get the customer to answer. She puts me and the customer on three-way and come to find out, I overhear the customer telling her that the spelling of the address is STI. Now, both of them are acting like they're not even going to make any type of notation of the fact that it's spelled differently than what's put on the order. So I have to jump up and make a big deal about it and say, see, that's the problem right there. They both act like I'm just telling them something new. I think the owner heard her, but she was too embarrassed to admit that one of her workers had put down the wrong address, so she was going to try to play it off. And the reason why I say that is because once I dropped off the order, the customer alerted me to the idea that the owner of the store, she doubled down and said it wasn't her mistake.